Good morning children, this is Sumalata, Master Chef Kakatea Public School. Today I am going to teach you revision of subtractions. Seven. So three after to reach the seven, 
four, five, six, seven. Four numbers I required. So four numbers I'm writing here. Now here also I'm starting from four here. I have to reach eight. I'm starting from four. I have to reach eight. So four after five, six, seven, eight. So how many numbers I required to reach eight here? One, two, three, four. Four numbers I required to reach eight from four. Okay. So if I subtract from top to bottom also, you'll get four only children. Okay. Eight. Come on, have a look at here. Seven is opening number. Top to bottom, how to move here? Seven is opening number. Top number is opening number. Bottom number is a closing number, children. Seven I open. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I open seven. And I have to close the three from it. One, two, three. I close the three. So how many? One, two, three, four. Four numbers. No, here. Left number, left over numbers. Four. So like this. You can start from top to bottom. Or else you can move from bottom to top. You will get the same answer here. Now coming to this problem. Come on, let's do this um, ones column here. Now I can subtract from 6 to 5. Or else I can start from 5 and I can reach the 6. Okay, I am starting from 5 children to reach the 6. So to reach the 6, how many numbers I require? Here 5, 5 after to reach the 6, 6. One number I require. So immediate numbers means compulsory. 5 after the immediate 6 now, so one number I require to reach the immediate number. Okay. Now, I am starting from 2, I have to reach 3. Here also immediate number, 2 and 3 immediate numbers. Okay. So 2 after, to reach 3, I require one number. 2 after 3. See, 3 means one number I open. So one number here I am writing. Now, I am starting from 3, I have to reach 9. 3, I have to reach 9. Okay. So, 3 after 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So, I have to reach 9. So, how many numbers are required here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 numbers are required to reach 9. So, 611 is the answer. Coming to this problem here, 5 minus 3. R is 3 to 5 you are moving. Okay. So, if I start from 3 and to reach the 5, how many I required here? 3 after 4, 5. So I required 2 numbers. So 2 I am writing. Now I am starting from 2. I have to reach 9. 2 after 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So how many numbers I required to reach 9 here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So 7 numbers I required to reach 9. Now again I am starting from 2. I have to reach 6. I am starting from down number which is 2. I have to reach 6 which is um, top number which is 6. Okay. 2 to 6 I am starting. I am moving here. 2 after 3, 4, 5, 6. So I raise the 6. How many numbers I required to raise the 6? 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 numbers I require. So here I am writing 4. Now again, here again I am starting from 2. I have to reach 4. 2 after 5. Sorry. 2 after 3, 4. So how many numbers are required here? 1, 2. So 2 numbers are required. So what will be the answer here? 2472. Yes, have a look at this problem still in here. I gave with borrowing problems here. Come on here, let's arrange the pieces before doing that. 1 stands. We are coming to this problem. 1 stands. Hundreds. I am coming to this problem. Ones, tens, hundreds, and thousand. And here, ones, tens, hundreds, and thousand. Come on, let's do this first in one ones column. Here, first problem, ones column. Now, I have to subtract seven minus nine. Seven minus nine. Is it possible, children? Already, I told you in the in this video only starting. Always, you need to subtract big. A smaller number from the bigger number. Okay. Means first number should be bigger number. So coming comparing these two. First number is a smaller number children. So from a smaller number we can't subtract. Okay. So from 7 minus 9 it is impossible to subtract. Then what do you need to do here? You need to take a borrow from the before place. Nothing but here from the before place. What place here? Tens. Which is 6 in the tens one. Now when I am taking a borrow from 6. So, here you see, one number from the tens I am giving power to ones. Okay. So, one number I am 
Mimi means the sixth number will be the Manana of Giveno. So here it will be the five children. Okay. One number I am giving from tens to ones means the tens digit will be before number. One is past year. So the six will become five children. And coming to this year, one number one tens is giving here. One tens nothing but ten ones. Already I told you here. One tens nothing but ten ones. Nothing but here indirectly I am giving ten numbers to ones. Okay. Ten numbers to ones means the ten numbers which is which has taken zero and here seven numbers exist in number. So the ten and the seven will become seventeen. Ten borrowing which has taken an existing number seven. So ten and seventeen will become seventeen. Now here it is seventeen is there. From seventeen to nine you can subtract. Or else from nine to seventeen you can move here. Forward numbers only we can move children. Okay. So nine to seventeen if I move nine after here ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen. Here you see seventeen. Then here I raise the seventeen now. Now how many numbers are required to raise the seven? One two three four five six seven eight. Eight numbers are required to raise the seven. So here I am writing eight. Okay. Now. From five minus two, it is possible, children. Five is a bigger and two is a smaller. We can do subtraction, children. Or else you can move from two to five. If I move from two to five, we are two after three, four, five. So three numbers are required, children. Here one, two, three numbers. So here I am writing three. Means sixty-seven minus twenty-eight will be thirty. Twenty-nine will be thirty-eight. Coming to this problem, one column let's subtract here. Three minus five. Is it possible to subtract children? Three is a smaller and five is a bigger. It is impossible to subtract. Then what you need to do here? You need to take the power from before place. But coming to this problem, before place also doesn't have any number. Nothing but zero we have. So at that time we need to take the power from this side. Means three is asking the power to tens. It here not there. So next the three is going to. Hundreds, okay. So hundreds place with something it has. So hundreds place digit is giving ready to borrow to ones, but it is impossible. Why? Because ones and hundreds are far from here. So how it is possible? First, hundreds is passing to tens, borrowing passing to tens. So when passing to tens, hundreds from the hundreds from four, it is giving one number. So nothing but this four will become three from four. Four one number is passing to tens, so three will be left with the hundreds. And coming to here, one hundreds hundreds to tens it is passing baro no. So one hundreds is equals to ten tens. I think but here giving here one number I think but ten numbers giving here to the next place. So ten numbers which has taken baro and existing number zero. Okay, so the ten and the zero will be. Ten itself, ten and zero, ten which has taken zero, and here existing number zero, it will be ten itself, ten and zero. Now we have present the ten children. Now the tens to ones can be the zero here. Okay, so if I am taking tens to ones zero from these tens, one number has given zero means it will be before nothing but nine. Okay, now in the tens digit, in the tens place. Here nine is there, and one number has given to zero to ones. Okay, now one number here tens to ones means one tens is ten ones means one number is passing to ones means that that nothing but here ten numbers are passing means ten numbers are given zero as zero. Okay, so here ten numbers zero which has taken and existing three numbers will be thirteen. Okay, now from thirteen minus five. Can subtract. Okay. Now here in the ones digit, first number has thirty, and tens digit, first number has nine, and hundred digit, first number has three. Okay. Now thirteen minus five. Okay. Come on. Or else you can move from five to thirteen. If I move from five to thirteen here, five after six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Okay. So how many numbers are required to move? From five to thirteen, or else from thirteen minus five. See here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So eight numbers required here. Eight I'm writing. 
Now here nine is there and here six is there. Now I have to move from six to nine. To reach from six to nine, how many numbers are required here? Six after seven, eight, nine. Three numbers are required, children. So I am writing here three. Now from two to three it is reaching here. So from two to three or else three minus two. Okay, or else subtracting three minus two. So or else you can move from three to three. Sorry, two to three. Okay. So immediate number already I told you. Immediate number you are moving or immediate number, uh, immediate before number if you are subtracting you will get the one. Okay. Three I open, two I close from it. So one is left. So far. Okay, coming to this problem here. Five minus four. Five minus four can subtract by because five is a bigger and four is a smaller. Okay, here no need any bars here. So four to five can move or else five to four can also subtract. Five to four if I am subtracting one will be left. So one I am writing here. Okay, now tens column here. Two minus five. Is it possible, children? Two minus five here? No, why? Because two is a smaller than the five. You can't subtract from two to five. So at that time, already, uh, already I told you at that time what you have to do here? You have to take the value from hundreds before digit. So before digit three is there, no? So three from three one number has given value means it will be two. And here this two will become here one hundred is equal to ten tens means. One number is passing from the hundreds to tens, nothing but ten numbers are passing. Our ten numbers are taking power, and existing two numbers, ten and the existing two numbers will be twelve. Okay. Now I can move from five to twelve. Five to two, twelve. If I move in here, five after six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I require seven numbers to move from five to twelve. Or twelve minus five. Now two minus three, we can't subtract. Children. Why? Because two is smaller than the three. We can't subtract. So at that time we need to take the value from thousands here. So if I'm taking value from thousands, three will become two before number one number has given value. No. So this two will become one number thousand one thousand is equals to ten hundreds. Means from thousands to hundreds, if you are moving nothing but ten numbers are passing here. The ten numbers are passing. Which has taken zero and existing two numbers. Where it is twelve and in thousands place here it is two. Come on, let's subtract twelve minus three here. Twelve minus three, or else you can move from three to twelve here. If you move from three to twelve, three after here, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So how many numbers I open to reach the? Twelve here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine numbers are required to move from three to twelve, or else from twelve minus three also nine. Now two minus two, same numbers reaching place and same numbers are uh, starting place. So here it will be zero. Now coming to this problem here. In one column zero minus five. Zero minus five. Zero not means nothing. From nothing, can you subtract anything here? No. So here it is not possible to subtract. So we require here zero in the ones position. But going to tens here, tens also we it has zero. And going to hundreds, it has in this place also it has zero. So going to thousand children. So here I can give something here. In thousands place eight here, you know. But here from thousand to ones can't give the directly children. So it means you can move from thousand to hundreds. So if you move from thousand to hundreds, eight from here eight one number has given zero you now. So eight will become here seven. And here ten numbers. One thousand means one thousand is moving here. Nothing but ten hundreds. Ten hundreds are moving and existing zero children. Ten hundreds and existing zero will be. Ten itself, and here can be here can be the zero now. Now ten will become nine, and this zero will become ten. Means zero which has taken ten and existing zero will be ten itself. Again from here to here I can take, but I require the zero here children. So here it will become nine. One number has given zero no. One number that is but ten numbers has given. So in this place it will be nine, and in this place zero in ten and existing zero will be ten. Okay. Now we can subtract ten minus five. 
okay 10 minus 5 if you subtract here you can or else you can move from 5 to 10 if, if i move from 5 to 10 here 5 after 6 7 8 9 10 i require 5 numbers to reach 5 to 10 or else 10 minus 5 is 5 now i'm starting from 9 2 and i'm reaching 9 here okay come on 2 2 2 after 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 okay so i require here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so 7 numbers i require children so 7 here okay now 100 is place 9 minus 3 here 9 minus 3 means uh, from 3 to 9 I'm reaching children now. Or else 9 minus 3 also you get the same children. So I'm starting from 3 here. 3 after 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. I think this is the 9 children. So to reach the 9 I require 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6 numbers. So 6 I'm writing here. Now I'm starting from 6. I'm reaching, I have to reach 7 children. So starting 6 I'm reaching 7 nothing but 1 number, immediate number no. So I require 1 number. So which is? I'm writing here. So the answer will be 1675. Yeah, children. I hope you understood the revision also. I told some problems which is related to without borrow and I explained some more problems which is related to with um, borrowing children. Practice well. Thank you.